So we're going to let her go out of sight. And I'm going to take this advantage to check out exactly what was behind this bookcase. Because from day one, guys, this 1.5 update, I knew there was something there. What the freak is this room? What the freak? So what is going on guys, this is Ryan here and welcome back to Granny Where in today's episode of Judging from the Face Cam, things are a little bit different around here. You know, you're only seeing kind of uh, this portion. We lasted a full five days with Granny and my face, it kind of shows right now. I mean, I can hear the reactions at home, you know, maybe it's not so bad. I mean, um... Disgusting! Don't laugh. You're laughing, I can hear it. Okay, we're dipping to black right now. I'll see you guys in about a week's time. <laughs> Welcome back anyway guys to Granny. In this episode, we're going to be tackling that new 1.5 update once again because we learned in the last episode, things have changed and there are secrets. For this episode, I'm hoping I'm going to be able to find most, if not all of those, and also escape with the new car ending because I do think now that is definitely a possibility. And in honesty guys, other than that, I think I'm ready to get straight back into this game because I want to see if Granny's got some new tricks up her sleeves, even though she's not actually uh, got any sleeves. We're back at the grind again, guys. Day one after being captured once again for about the 10,000th time. Okay, let's get this started anyway. So, I kind of did learn a few things in the last video. Hello there. Let's see, Granny, hold up. Back up nice and slow. There you go. I'm gonna close the door behind myself as well. So, there is a croaky floorboard straight in the middle right here. So, go around that one. It's more to do with the bookcase that's located over here. I did say in the last episode that there was something there, and it turns out there actually is. We found like a weird book thing, and a lot of you guys were saying it's got something to do with a picture within this room. And uh, what the freak is that? Hi. An engine part? That's kind of interesting though, because in the last episode, I was thinking that for the engine parts and like the car, you gotta find all the secrets to access maybe that second new ending. Right, it's been a hot minute, guys. I'm hopping straight back out. I think the floorboard in the middle there is also croaky. So nice and slow around this. I'm gonna go ahead and take this part here. Yep, give me that good stuff. I can see the hammer as well. She keeps opening freaking doors. Hold up a second. It might be this one here. Let's just go ahead and check. It's not. All right. So we're going to go the back route, I think, here. We can make a mad dash right now. And yes! I found the book. Okay, so we can experiment with that basically straight after. But let's get this first part done and I guess see how much more we need for the car. Because it's probably going to be quite a hefty job, you know? Either between escaping via the car or via the door. We're going for the car this time, Granny. We're making sure that we take a little bit more this time. Push that down. Always nice and quiet. Okay, you know what? Instead of waiting, I'm going to drop the engine part there. Hold up. That's pretty loud. That should draw at least this way, I think. So we should be good to go. You know what? I'm freaking doing this, dude. I don't see her upstairs. The basement seems awfully quiet. Stanky as freak. But that's the least of our worries right now. Let's get the heck downstairs. And let's put the first car part of many in. Let's do this. This feels good. All right, we're going to open that thing up. So is that just going in the top right there? Yes, let's go. So we need, I think it's the engine for this right here, the car battery. And then we also need the spark plug. Okay, I remember both those. Biggest amount of BS Granny has said today. And I think we're going to be hearing many more things just like that. Let's go ahead, check down here. I think other than, is there anything on there? No, that's a lot of freaking noise. That is a lot of noise. I'm straight into here. Go, 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 go. All right. We're good. Good thing about this, though. You see Granny's freaking old legs right there? All right, let's go back upstairs now. What we're going to do is take that book. Let's try and figure out what we're going to do in that weird room. You are coming with me right now. The book of the dead. Let's go ahead and figure out how we can- But why? Really? Bear traps absolutely scattering the whole place? I could probably nudge it out of the way, you know? Let's go. You know what? I don't trust- I see her. Hold up. I saw some movement. Okay, look, she's right on my tail! Oh! <laughs> I slightly moved the box, okay, but it was enough. We're going straight back downstairs. Let's do this. Keep it going, keep it going. And underneath, let's go. Woo! Now that was way too close. Drop it right there. There you freaking go. Wait. What? Where did the book go? I just... Oh, for God's sake. Wait, did it glitch out? Hello? How the freak did it get over there? Hold up a sec. I gotta make tracks. This is bad. The book is working for Granny Confirmed. Okay, go ahead. Take this thing. Let me go ahead. Punch this thing down. I think I got it. Oh, she sees me anyway. We're gonna duck straight back under here. We'll check in here once we've got time. Nothing that we can immediately use. We'll check back here as well. I think it's only the teddy bear and the car battery as well. Awesome. Yes, she's going downstairs, I think. Check this out. Yeah, look at that freaking dingus, you idiot. No, you don't. You old lady. Look at the back of her head. It looks like pieces of dead straw are hanging out. Can I drop this on the bed? Oh, a yes, I can. All right, now I'm going to go and hide real slowly right now. I should have enough time, though. Okay, just. Now, I could, you know, go back downstairs with the car battery and try and get that one on the go because we're making real good progress. It feels like all of the items we need are basically like where we need them to be every single time. And I couldn't wish for a better scenario. So you know what? What the freak? Why is the book glitching through the floor, Granny? Are we about to have fights about this? And the book's gone. It, it's just gone through the floor. 
I, I don't, I am, I'm speechless, I really am. Somebody ought to change the name of this game to Buggy. <laughs> Back to gameplay. We're gonna, she just dropped it. Bro, the placement of her bear traps today is on point, unfortunately. I cannot get a break. We'll let her pass. And then I'm gonna see, I guess, what I can do. But realistically, guys, I don't know when I'm walking, okay? I don't pick my feet up, okay, in this game. My feet are very, very easily snapped up by these bear traps. So, uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Let's go, okay, drop it. Right now, pick it back up, let's go. Stand back up, let's do this. And the book is now bare. You know what, that's fine. All we gotta do is place this battery in, and that is two out of three down, I believe. Though, there's all these kind of like red points coming off. Do I need to tighten these on? You need a wrench. A wrench? So we need, I think, four different things in order to escape with the car. Wait, five, we also need the padlock key. All right, man, I thought I was making good progress. We've only just started. So here's the plan. We're gonna go ahead, knock these crates out of the way. Get out of my face! We're gonna, wait, drop? What do you mean drop? All right, we've got Granny's attention right there. So we're gonna take this chance to go outside and maybe see if we can find something of use out there. Gasoline, you know what? That would make sense to use with the car. This is going pretty good, so I think we need a total of six things to escape with the car. We may need something down the well. So there's a fair few items we still need to go ahead and find, but it is still day one. I'm just saying. Take the gasoline can. Um, I think Granny may be coming outside because I did drop something. So we're going to make tracks again back down to the basement. And I could just leave this there, I guess. Actually, you know what? If I go ahead and place this there, that makes noise. Will she be drawn from this side, though, or outside? That's what I'm kind of thinking. Hmm, seems like neither. So I'm gonna take this chance, hold up, stand back up. Nice and quickly does it. Back through here. So we're gonna now try and find that book and I guess see what that equates to. Somehow it made it into the meat locker. No questions, I'm gonna take it. Nothing other than a big old piece of meat, but there is this. Ah, the shotgun, nice. We're gonna leave that for now. Let's just try and figure out what this book thing is all about. Okay, so duck under here. All right, we have to use the book within this room right here. We tried with the bookcase, we got no joy. People said the painting, so I'll go ahead and check that, I think, first. Actually, let me go ahead and open these drawers, just whilst I've got the time. Nothing in there, and of course, nothing in there as well. Okay, over to the painting. Ooh. Guys, there's- wait. There's something under there. Okay, back under here. That's really interesting. There was like a lever, I think? She, oh, she was right upstairs. She knows now that we are figuring this out. Now we've got to play it careful. There is a lever behind the painting. Maybe we can place the book in it, you know? I'm getting some, like, Resident Evil puzzle vibes right now, and I kind of like it. As for liking Granny, like, I mean, you know, it just straight up disappeared. I'm hoping it didn't reset. I don't think it will. But let's see what this is about to amount to, okay? Out we go, okay? Crouch. Well, that doesn't make any difference whatsoever, so, uh, you know, I'm gonna stand back up. Why did the painting reset? That's really difficult. Because each time I knock it off, then she's just gonna come straight in here. Game plan. Nice and quick. Knock it off. All right, here we go. Uh, there's a lever. Pull it. Nice. We got movement. We got movement. Okay, straight. I think it looks like we got a new passageway. She's back in here. She knows right now. We've pulled the lever. Your secrets ain't hidden no more, okay? We're about to uncover this stuff. All right, big old bunion legs is going that way. So we're going to let her go out of sight. And I'm going to take this advantage to check out exactly what was behind this bookcase. Because from day one, guys, this 1.5 update, I knew there was something there. Right, here's our chance. Nice and slowly does it. No croaks. And I see... Uh? Like maybe the wrench is that? Oh, no, we're going to remember that right now. So the freak is this room? We've got a picture of blood right there. A cage is that? Granny was put in a cage at some point? Um, I don't know exactly what that is. What the freak is all this? Is this a new game? The freak! Whoa! What is that? Hold up! Um, what the freak is this? Guys, what the heck is that? It looks the exact same as Granny. It's wearing, like, the same robes? Who the freak is this dude? They were chained up and buried behind, like, peanut butter or something? Right now, I'm starting to think that this is from another game. So, maybe if it's a prequel, let me know, guys. I want to check this thing out to see exactly how the story links up and what the freak this thing is as well. All right, we're back out anyway, guys. We're going to have to try and get things rolling just a little bit more. Because we still need that car escape. And that's the hammer. So, that's no good. Unless, maybe we need it for the upstairs. Give me that freaking hammer, right? Give me that good stuff. Wait, what? A freaking car key? I am not thinking right now. Okay, back in. So that right there is, I think, the fourth thing we need. There must be seven things total for the car then, unless there's like 20,000. Like, what is this, mechanic simulator right now? Look, I don't know. Okay, guys, plan of action. We drop down here, straight away, in here. Come on, let's go. Nice and quick, because Granny is coming any moment. Come on, close it. All right. Now, we need to search the bathroom anyway, and I think that pretty much takes care of the attic, other than, I guess, like, the prison part, and then, I guess, just outside and trying to link the bits up. And then I remember we've not even been downstairs yet. We got a lot to do. Now we take our chance to search around. Uh, nothing within there. 
We're gonna see if anything's in the sink for a start. There is, there's a cog wheel, that's good. Um, why is she placing a bear trap right where you're about to take a turd? Like, come on. Step around that. Bruh. There's a piece of meat in the toilet. Guys, I've heard the expression dropping a log, but like dropping a meat, like. <laughs> so a cog wheel and some meat are in. Whoa, she's racing up here right now. You know what, let's go ahead and play Ring a Ring of Roses, okay? And I run around this way. Make sure she's looking. Okay, she's really coming. Around this here. Then I'm gonna try and run downstairs. Look, I'm croaking every floorboard. Let's do this though, because I need to be down here anyway. So try not to croak any whatsoever. Okay, that's good. That's real good. Yeah. We made tracks right there. Alright, guys. Kind of running around in circles right now. Uh, I'm just trying to establish what is downstairs. Uh, nothing in that cabinet there. Now, I don't think there's anything over there either, which is good. We got nothing in there as well. So mainly the drawers we gotta search down here. Fast on our heels right now, guys. Here's the thing we're gonna do. Wow, okay. What what am I doing? Okay, stand up, stand up. This is stupid. Has she seen me? She hasn't seen me. I'm still good. Now, that was way too close, but I got the car key. That's a good start. Play I'm playing and I'm winning. Oh crap, she's gonna see me. Oh man, she's gonna see me. Okay, I gotta go back upstairs. She's gonna sideswipe me. I'm telling you. Wow. She hit me in the kneecap, and that was enough, apparently. Okay, guys, so we're back anyway for day two. I'm struggling to progress past this point because I can't find nothing. The amount of croaks on the floor right now is going crazy. Every single route I'm trying to go is the bad way, apparently. So I gotta do some figuring out real quick because this is going real bad. Actually, you know what? It's time. I'm gonna drop this in there, okay? Run back over here, get in the car. We're trapping her in because I need some time to explore downstairs. I am not catching any breaks right now. Yeah, there you go. Big old bunion feet. Go ahead, check in there. Oh, back out. Close the door. Here we go, guys. We've got to get this going. All right. Shut this thing too. Come on. Here we go. Why am I taking so long? If that's a cross, turn the freaking thing on. Yeah, there you go. Get smoked out. Let's take our chance. I'm going to get moving straight away. Okay. There's... What's that? The path of shotgun. So she's out for a minute. It's not long, guys. It is not long. There's the special key. We do have the meat upstairs too. Come on. Something else. We've got the wench handle too. That's probably the most important, so we'll take that for now. Let me just try and recap then, because I really just want to check all down here so I know maybe what we can get total. Over here, over here. Okay, nothing in there. That's fine. Check into here. And I think, you know what? That's exhausted everything down here. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and use the wench handle first of all. See if we can get this thing working. Good vision right there. We can see the door. It's like a cog. So we do have the playhouse key as well, which is, I guess, good. So if I take this, place this over here, I'm going to make track almost straight away because I know where the second cog is, if I'm correct. So the second cog wheel is right here. So you know what? We're going to now take this down to the very base here because I know also where the key is for the playhouse. So here's going to be my plan right now. I'm going to drop this thing right there. There you go. Make a load of noise. Now that pretty much confirms, guys, that we are all good for at least a good amount of time. She's gonna have to check what made the racket, you know? Let's just do this without even thinking, without even looking. This may be a mistake, but hopefully not. Playhouse key, let's go. Yeah, she stood there. She has no idea. All right, plan worked perfectly. So now we just go ahead and do this, man. It's gonna make a lot of noise. I'm gonna drop this because I don't need to hold it anymore. She's probably gonna be at the back door. So let me go ahead and get the cog and then we can return and get everything else finished up. Okay, and we're finally back. So first of all, the biggest cog goes right there. No, you don't. Don't care what you're saying. Snitch this one right there. And that completes this little part here. So put that in. Let's go. And that gives us the master key. I didn't even need it. If it's a master key, maybe we can use it on the lock at the bottom. We'll at least give it a try, I suppose. I mean, red key, red lock. We'll give it a shot. It doesn't work, so you need a padlock. Dang it, man. That sucks. I don't know as well if you can reuse this. So uh, look, I'm going to go ahead, turn this thing off. Let's see if we can. Okay, open the door. Granny, it's time for round two in the sauna, okay? Guys, hook, line, and freaking sick. Wait, what the freak? Close. Granny, you need your sauna. You know, you need a, a bit of a manicure and a pedicure and uh, 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 scared the crap out of me, man. I nearly messed up. <laughs> okay, she is trapped in there, so let's go. You know, that's the main thing. Okay, let's try and use some of this stuff then. I think really the main thing is, uh, wait, that's a part of the shotgun, so we don't truly need that, I guess, just yet. I do need the special key right here, and we know where the meat is as well, so that might help. Special key goes straight in there. Look, I'm not waiting for nothing, guys. Straight back downstairs. In fact, let's take a shortcut. I gotta be quick. Give me that thing. Dude, this meat is gonna be stinky as heck, and I'm dead. How did she get upstairs so quick? What the heck? She was knocked out for a minute. It'd been like 30 seconds. Let me just play granny. Okay, so we're back here. I don't like this at all. There's a button we can press over there, but what about if I go ahead and place the meat in the trap? Like, hey, buddy. I'm just here, you know. You wanted your takeaway? I got it for you. We'll go over and then we'll place it in there. So we got some time. We got some time. Okay, in here maybe. There's something. What is that? Padlock. That must be for the uh wait, the padlock. That must be for the 
There's a croak! That's really unfair, bro. Straight as we come out, she's gonna be right behind me, sniffing my backside. Somehow she wasn't, but my face is bloody to heck. I don't know how we're gonna get around this, guys. I don't know what more we really need. What I do know, though, is that we've got that. And I think, you know what, let me try and open that a second. What about if this is our solution? And then everything we need is right here. Same thing again. Round three. And go to sleep. Let me go ahead and open this a sec. So that's the weapon key. You know, that may come in handy. I can... I'm right out here. I need the car key. Wait, I got it. What the fr- why is it always gonna come down to like a clutch scenario? Because now I'm paranoid I'm not even gonna get this done. Like she's just pooping out bear trap- Four. Four bear traps on one stairwell. Maybe a bit overkill, but Granny, she is kind of overkill as a whole. Okay, we're gonna use this anyway. The watermelon and- What the freak is that thing? Hold up, I'll pick it- I need gasoline, so that's what I use that for. Okay, noted. Drop this in here. Take the gasoline can. And I'm not even gonna try that again, guys. I'm over it. Weapon key is right there as well, so we could get the crossbow. And I'm kind of feeling like that's probably gonna be the thing I'm gonna do after. So let's go ahead and do this. I hope this doesn't make, like, an audible noise she can hear. Should be alright, though. Uh, I mean, that's way more gasoline than what we need to just simply break out, I think. I gotta take this. Now, okay, something is inside the melon. Yeah, I know, Granny's weird like that. Like, I really don't understand what I'm supposed to do, because I'm stuck down here, and these will not go away. I think I'm gonna literally have to just keep lowering her down here time and time again. It seems like the only thing I can do. Drop it. Like, maybe it'll, uh, despawn the traps or something? I really don't know. I'm almost out of ideas. Alright, guys, now, it is a lot of time later. Granny was going crazy with the bear traps, and I literally had to get around them, which took so long. But we're now here with this melon thing. Let's go ahead and use the contraption. So, uh, yep. And, uh, <coughs> yep. There you go. The spark plug. Is that it? Wait. Oh, no, wait. wait no, sure. Guys, that might be it. If all we need is a spark plug, we're out of here. Oh, this thing is faulty. Mm. Let's not go there, okay? They cannot do that to us. It feels like this is the final part of the car we need to complete it. Granny will be outside looking at that melon, thinking, what the freak? Who used my guillotine on a melon? Let me go ahead and try this, though. So if we- No, we need the wrench as well, dude. I need to find the wrench now, man. I'm so close. This sucks, bro. I feel like I'm gonna get messed over. It's inside wherever the safe key is. And I need to find out where that is. You know what, guys? I think I get it. I think I know exactly what I gotta do right now. If I head down here, I get the weapon key. Okay, let me just talk you through this. I need to get the weapon to get, I think, the screwdriver, which in turn I can open this thing down here, open the safe if it gives me the safe key, and in there. It's probably gonna be the wrench. Come on, this all has to work right now, so we use it on that nice and quick. Take this. All right, give me one of those. Just like so. And now we wait. Here she comes. All right, we're gonna shoot right now. Ah! There you go. She's out for the count for a minute. Straight over here. Do not miss, okay? A little bit above. That looks good. Fire it. Woo! Are you kidding? Okay, number two, shoot. There you go. Thank goodness for that. Okay, drop this. We don't need it. Now give me that screwdriver. You know what? I'm gonna wait until I hear footsteps, because I don't trust the spawning thing with this game. If it messes me up now, I would not be happy. Okay, we're gonna drop it that side. So it should be coming over here. This is just to be safe. Gotta be safe right now. We're so close, it'll be a shame to mess up. Oh, this is tense. This is tense because we're real close right now. Come on, use it. There you go. So this gives us the safe key. And I said it would. I said it would. And this inside. I thought we may need these things. Guys, it's gonna be the long-winded way, but it's the way it's gonna have to be, okay? We ain't got no choice. Right, get the freak over here. This is gonna shut. Okay, now I gotta hide straight away. First thing I'm doing... Before anything else, I hope she doesn't come in here. Let's get this done nice and quick. That's the last piece, I think. It looks like the wrench to me. Okay, take it. All right. We're gonna have to go for it, guys. I don't know what else to do, okay? We gotta move. The door is gone completely. Um, okay, no questions. Along here. Look, draw her back up to the top. I need to see her face, guys, so I know it's safe to drop down. Okay, then I'm gonna go backwards. I know it's gonna croak. But we gotta run for that basement as fast as we can. There we go. Let's do this. Okay, we get one shot. We get one shot right now. That's open. Let's go. No bear traps, please. Thank goodness for that. Hey, okay, this is good so far. This is real good. And no croaks past this point. So she has no reason to come down here. Straight over here. Okay, let's do this. We have we have to do each one. Okay, precision, precision. Let's go. Three, four, five. No, I want to play hide and get the freak out of here in your car. I think we're done. Okay, drop this. Let's get... Wait, that was stupid. I need a car. But I had it. So I got to pick it back up. Car key. Let's go. Give me that good stuff. Get back in the car. This should be all right. Start the car. Reverse. Uh, yeah. I think it... What the freak? Okay, forward, let's go. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, reverse one more time. Okay, granny ain't coming. And forward, let's go. Yes! No! The freak, come on! She's gonna be hearing all this. She knows. Let's go. Boom! Woo! Let's go. What's up, like 80s kung fu music? I'm down, so we escaped granny in the car, and that is our ending. Oh, man. I thought I was gonna do it for a split second there, but we did, and those teeth look angrier than granny. 
Just saying. Guys, we escaped in Granny's car. We also figured out that she has some past relics. Okay, I don't know what the heck that thing was. Like, Grandpa, maybe? There was someone chained up in a side room behind some kind of weird passageway. I don't know exactly what that meant. So, I mean, if you guys want to let me know, then feel free to. Maybe there's some games we've got to pick up on. Or maybe they're thinking of making, like, a sequel to this. Who really knows right now? One thing we do know, however, I beat Granny. I'll pull my headphones out too. Anyway though guys, this is where I'm gonna leave that video. This was a pretty fun update. There was a lot of new stuff. Uh, I don't think there's anything else that I didn't see, but I guess if there is, just let me know down below and maybe we can check it out if it's gonna be worthwhile. But if you guys did enjoy this video, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I of course hope you did enjoy, and I will of course see you on the next one.